What's going on everyone and welcome back to our How to Fix the Future Let's Play. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep going with the story. So, in the end of the last episode, we finished and apparently passed the test. And uh, the mistress here made some suggestions about potentially things happening later. So let's see if they happen. Congratulations, you finished the test and made me happy. That's all, I have to go. I'll see you tonight. Until then, you're free to go. You can walk around the Citadel and the Academy. You have the ID card, so you can go by yourself. But don't mess around, Chad. Okay. Just what in the world was all that? Well, it's a character test, right? Chad! Riley, are you next? Yeah, let it go. Be straight with me, Chad. Is that really scary? Well, not gonna lie. It was definitely strange and pretty nasty. <laughs> but don't worry. Even I made it through. I hope you'll do fine as well. Good luck out there. Oh, thanks. I hope so too. I'll wait until you're done. Great, thank you, Chad. Ugh. That's interesting. But it, no, being the player, you kind of know it's a test, so it's your responses can kind of be easy there. Holy shit, that was awful! It was so horrible! What did you see? I doubt we saw the same thing. I had to... kill my own father. Shit. I'm sorry. Well, at least it's not real, you know? I mean, no, but still. I did it. It all seemed so real back there. Yeah. Shit, this sucks. Hey, I know how to take your mind off these things. Do you wanna... I do! <laughs> Didn't even finish. Sorry. Would you like to grab coffee? Real... I do! <laughs> do you always interrupt your companions? It's not very nice, you know. What the hell with manners? Let's go drink some coffee. I know this is a common theme in these visual novels. There's always a coffee addict. <laughs> Sorry, were you saying something? Yeah, before you interrupted me, I wanted to... Interrupt you how? Like this? <laughs> Jeez, you can be so difficult sometimes. Alright, now, alright, I'll stop now. Forgive me. Continue. I wanted to ask, do you think you passed the test? I hope so. We'll get the results tomorrow. Huh. Octavia told me my results straight away. It would seem Dr. Garden doesn't report them to the students, but gives them directly to Mr. Morgan. And what about you? You think you made it? Yeah, it went perfect, actually. I mean, Octavia said it did. Fascinating. That Madam President herself oversaw your test. Even more so, spoke to you in person. Very strange. Ah, uh, well, we sort of know each other. She's helping me get a feel for the place. Unbelievable. Madam President herself is helping you? Why? Are you special or something? Not really. It just became that way. <laughs> Chad, nothing happens just like that. More so with Madam Octavia. Anyway, I think it's good for you. You're lucky to be her favorite right from the start. It opens a lot of doors for you. Just don't shut them all. Yeah, I got very lucky. Luckiest guy in the universe. Is that a hint of sarcasm I hear? Possibly. Doesn't matter. Let's switch topics. Tell me about yourself. Why did you want to become an agent? Ooh, that's a tough one. Straight to the point, huh? Well, I... Can I be frank with you, Chad? Of course. Actually, I don't want to be an agent. I can't stay in this corporation. I didn't want to attend the academy. What? Why? Then for what reason are you here? Out of desperation. My father forced me, and he... He's not the negotiating type. Let me guess. You and your family are experiencing difficulties right now, and by becoming an agent, you can help them out? Something like that, yes. Only by working for the corporation can you live at a more or less normal life. But now, everyone in some way or another works for the corporation. But only by becoming an agent can you get to the top of the food chain. What's wrong with this world? Is it really that much harder to live today? Yes, humankind went through a lot, but it for sure was a serious lesson for everyone. You can't give all your power to just one individual. 
And what's the alternative? Democracy? Chad, give me a break. As if things were different back then. Democracy is just an illusion. The world was always ruled by powerful leaders with great amount of influence. And others just obey them like a big herd of sheep. No, everything must be different. You don't really mean that. Anarchy? Yes, exactly that. Utter independence and power of the people. People could live their lives freely. But that's impossible. Everything would become much worse. The same way before Octavia came around. People would start killing each other again for a piece of bread. Well, survival of the fittest. But enough politics. It's time for you to talk about you. Why did you decide to become an agent? <laughs> Tougher question for us to answer. Well, you know, I think we're quite similar in that regard. I, as far as I know, two didn't have a choice. Parents? Something like that, yes. I'm far away from home. And Octavia said that she would help me get back. But before that, I have to go through training and complete a few tasks for her. Ah, uh, now it makes sense. Why do you need Octavia? You can get back on your own. Steal a car, walk by foot, pay someone, and off you go. What city are you from? Shit. I don't know any other cities besides Polis. What do I tell her? Um... I'm not going to tell her the truth. We're not supposed to do that. Uh, but she probably won't believe us anyways. Let's just lie. That's fine. I want to tell her the truth, but Kathy made it clear that nobody can know about this. And who in the right mind would believe this anyway? So think of a psycho. Better come up with something different. I'm from... Come on. Think, Chad. Los Santos. Los Santos? Where's that? First time I'm hearing about it. It's a long way from here. That's why I need help from Octavia. I won't be able to make it by myself. I thought there were only five cities left. Huh. And how far is it? Um, it's on another continent. What continent are we on anyway? <laughs> wow. And you end up here. Came through a portal. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, right. And unicorn unicorns exist too. Fine. I won't bother you with questions. Well, I hope you'll make it back home. Anyway, I still don't get how you ended up here. Traveling between cities is already difficult. And between continents, it's almost impossible. Although, that's my take. Well, it's definitely easier if you're a Phoenix agent, that's for sure. However, those types of missions aren't a rarity here. Or are a rarity here, excuse me. Phew, dodged the bullet there. Well, I think I should be on my way now. I have a couple of things to check with the administration. And better do it now than later. I enjoyed our chat together. Quite a lot, actually. Hope we can do this again soon. That's if I don't mind, oh, don't find myself on the other side of the wall tomorrow. Oh, of course you won't. I think you did great. I also had a great time with you, Riley. Have a good night. Thanks. You too, Chad. Okay. I don't even know what to do. I got a ton of time left until the evening. Huh. I could try to find the portal room and think of a way to get back home. It's not like I absolutely don't want to be here. There's some cool stuff around here, and not to mention the girls, but I'm world worried about Mother. Besides, if traveling across time is so easy, maybe I can go back to my time for the night? I still have a lot of questions. For now, I have to find the room itself. Okay. <laughs> the size of this whole thing is unbelievable. Oh, Chad, hi! Would you like to spend some time with me? Oh, hi, Lou. Yes, of course, why not? So, how's your first day at the Academy? No, nothing really happened today. Just came in, got my ID card, listened to Octavia's speech, passed the final test, and that's all. Honestly speaking, I'm really impressed. This place... It has something to it. Yeah, you're right. History is made here. It's a powerful place. Huh? <laughs> Awkward silence. Listen, I think... Chen, I want... <laughs> you first. Yeah, fine. Chad, about yesterday. This is awkward. Usually I'm not like that. Thank God you said that. I feel very awkward as well. But it felt fantastic last night. I hope you did too. Though based on your screams and moans. <laughs> Chad. Right, sorry. Awkward. Maybe if we got to know each other a bit better. I don't even know. Should I ask her out? Um, sure. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Why not? 
I like her. We had a great night yesterday. We should really get to know each other a bit better. I think we should go on a date or something like that. Maybe this tension will disappear after that. Are we not on a date right now? Well, not really. Usually the guy asks the girl out and they go to like a restaurant or to the movies. Movies? Um, you serious? You don't know what that is? No. Just what is up with these people here in the future? Chad, I don't really know much. I grew up in the... Oh, in not the best of places. I didn't know my parents. I lived in a brothel. And the only thing I was taught is how to please my owner. Crap, Lou. I'm very sorry. No, that's alright. I don't know how to live differently. Octavia saved me. She brought me here when I turned 18. It's been five years since I started serving her. So, you're her slave? Well, something like that. I'm very grateful that she saved me. Octavia likes me, and she even made me her right hand. And honestly, I enjoy serving under her. The only thing I know and can do, and I like it a lot. I was taught to serve my owner, obey them without question, hope their needs before mine. I never saw other cities. I don't know anything about the past. In these last five years, I've never gone outside the Citadel. Shit. She's a sub down to the bone. Well, thank you for sharing this with me. I don't even know what to say. I thought a lot about my life. I understand that I'm in the right place. This is my nature. I wouldn't want to change it. Poor Lou. She thinks this is the only way she could live her life. If she only knew. How it feels to be in a normal relationship. To be free. I'm sorry. But I have to ask. So, you fully obey Octavia, and you never do anything you don't want to- Oh, and you never do anything you want to do? That's right. I shouldn't let my wants get in the way. I shouldn't have had any of them at all. My wishes are the wishes of my mistress. If she's happy, then I'm happy too. It's truly joyful to see a smile on her face when she gets something she wants from me. It's the purpose of my existence. Wow. Holy shit. So, last night. What about it? Well, was that not your wish? I... I don't know. Huh. She hesitated. I'm sorry, Chad. I have to go. I had a few spare, a few spare minutes while Mr. Octavia was in a meeting. I still have a lot of tasks to do. Also, I have to get ready for the evening session. See you. Oh. Okay, then. See you, Lou. Evening session? What does that mean? Does that have something to do with me? There's something to this girl. I can't even imagine what she had to go through. But I think she's really in her right place. Interesting. What if she started to put her wishes before others? Right. Where, right, where were we? Part room. Where can it be? It's so interesting, this one. Because, like, there's so many stills that, like, really good. And, like, pretty clean. Then there's a whole bunch of spots where it's, like, fuzzy. <laughs> for some reason. It's really strange, especially around, like, uh, the animations and, like, any kind of, like, cutscenes and stuff. It's where it gets, like, all kind of fuzzy. Damn, all the quarters look the same. Hmm. Ten minutes later. Shit, I passed through here already. Okay, I'll keep on going. <laughs> like, half hour later? Oh, nope, ten more minutes, okay. I think I passed through here yesterday. The door to the poor room should be down the corridor. I think this is it. Although I doubt it will open with my clearance level. Access granted. Okay. <laughs> or not. I don't get it. Either my pass worked or the door wasn't closed. That doesn't matter. What matters is I'm here. Now I need to figure out how to get home in case of something. I remember Doc Charles pressing some buttons on that console. He'd take a look. Holy, how does he make sense of this thing? Huh, I'll trust my intuition. Here goes. I'll don't just start pushing buttons. Ooh, holy moly. It worked. That's right, Chad. You just managed to get your ass in a whole lot of trouble. Olga? Well, shit. This is it. I'm in deep this time. Care to explain this? Well, I... What do I tell her? Uh, no, 
let's just be honest. Just have to be honest about it. Maybe she'll get me. She, at least, seems to be the most sensible out of all the top brass around here. Olga, I know how this looks. And yes, perhaps I try to escape, but only because I don't belong here. Try to understand, this world is not for me. I don't mind trying to help you, I just want to go home. I have my mother, friends back there, an ex. Imagine how worried my ma is. I got kidnapped in broad daylight. Can I at least see her and come back? Chad, I get it, but you're here for a reason. You're somehow connected to what's happening in our time. Want it or not, you're already part of this. And you've broken at least three regulations by getting in here. Although, nobody ever tried to escape the Citadel until now. Usually somebody wants to get in, not the other way around. So, I don't know how to deal with this. In any case, Octavia won't like this. Ugh, come on, Olga, please don't tell her about this. I don't know, Chad. I like you, I get where you're coming from. But Octavia is my supervisor. I must report to her about this. This is it, huh? End of the road for me. Unless... What? Well, you didn't run away per se. I highly doubt you would have been able to figure out how to operate the portal. It's not just launch and go. Plus the door was open. You didn't hack it. In other words, you just entered a room you weren't supposed to. But there's nothing wrong with that. You just got lost. You're new around here, after all. Well, I guess so, yes. I think I can keep my mouth shut about this incident. Under one condition. And what would that be? Favor for a favor. I won't tell Octavia about this, and you will do something for me in the future when the time comes. Well, I don't even know. What can I actually do for you? Far more than you can ever imagine. You just don't see the full picture right now. But believe me, you're quite a capable fellow. Huh. Interesting. I don't really get what she's saying. It also seems she's keeping some things to herself. Think I can agree to this type of offer. And don't see anything bad at it. Sure. We don't want to piss off Octavia, so yes. Okay then. Favor for a favor. Agreed. Great. And now... You'll still get your punishment. You tried to run away after all. Well, things just got worse. So what type of punishment? Most likely something humiliating, right? <laughs> no, Chad. I'm not Mistress Octavia. You think I'm sitting here and waiting for, and waiting just for you to show up? We just received new fragments. We have to transfer them here for, from the warehouse. I was going to call a couple of agents over, but since we ended up in this situation, you'll have a lot of time to reflect on your actions while you move all the crates by yourself. I think that sounds quite fair. Ugh, just perfect. Well, not like I have a choice, do I? First thought, it'll take some time. So you're stuck here until evening. All of me. Hmm. Now, see, now I, I kind of want to reload my save and do it again just to see what actually happens if you pick the other options. <laughs> you hours later. You. I didn't get this overworked. Maybe since middle school, I think. Tomorrow, I'll have cramps all over. Guaranteed. That was the last one. Can I go now? I didn't eat anything besides breakfast today. I'm very hungry. Great job, Chad. But I'm afraid you won't be able to get dinner. You'll need to be Octavia's penthouse in five minutes. What? Damn it. <laughs> Let's go, I'll guide you to her penthouse. You'll like it there. That's a great view. There's even a pool there. So, what do I get from that? Hmm. Listen, Chad. Remember I told you last night? Be gentle with Mistress Octavia. Do everything she asks of you. Uh-huh. Do you even have a choice? Of course, Olga. Crystal clear. Don't tell me that you plan on staring at my breasts again, Chad. <laughs> you didn't get your feel yesterday? Oh, well, I... Sorry, Olga. Never mind. <laughs> well, maybe if you hide them a little bit better. Jeez. Wow. It really is quite nice up here. Let's go. Octavia and Lou should be outside. Oh, Lou is here as well. Interesting. Whoa, that's Lou? What's she doing? She is... Holy, I've got no words. Ah, Chad. Welcome! Feel yourself at home. Wow, she is... I didn't expect that. I can even see her underwear. I feel so strange near her. Also, Lou is posing like that. I feel really awkward from all this. 
Come on. Relax, Chad. Uh, thank her. Thank you for your invitation, Mrs. Octavia. I'm glad to be here. Oh, Chad, such good manners. I'm glad that you're here. Oh, I think you've noticed Lou here. Precious and obedient Lou. Watch carefully, Chad. This is what true obedience looks like. Lou has been serving me for many years now, and she's never disappointed me. Today, you've proven yourself well during the test, especially that time on the ship. Honestly, I had doubts about you, but not anymore. I think you've become a good addition to our team. I'm counting on you. And not just talking about saving the world, but also when it comes to my personal wishes. As a mistress, I'm quite demanding. And as a mistress, I deserve a lot too. So I definitely have a feeling I know where this is going. Um, so I'm actually going to end the episode here. It's about time anyways. And I've, I'm probably going to end up skipping over the next bit. Because I have a feeling something involving nudity is going to happen. <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to cut it anyways. So at the start of the next episode, we're going to resume after this next scene. If it's what I think it is. So if there's a little bit, if it's not in this scene, like in the spot, that's why, okay? So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And catch you all in the next one.